Hey everyone. So, um, I've been getting a lot of requests ever since I did my getting ready tag. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, like, what I do on a daily basis, and since it is summer, I don't wear makeup every day, just a little disclaimer. But, um, when I'm going out, I do, so this is kind of my going out kind of makeup. And, sorry if I look so late, I have, like, a window here, and then like a daylight there so it kind of washes me out a little bit but I promise I'm not this way I'm actually pretty tan so um yeah let's get right into it and I will have a video up of where I've been because something really big happened so yeah stay tuned and keep watching to see how I do my makeup bye Okay, so to start off, I always, always, always use a moisturizer because I do get pretty dry skin. And actually, I use two moisturizers. The first one I use is Oil-Free Moisture by Neutrogena. And I don't use a lot, maybe like that much. And I just rub it all over my face. And I make sure to get, like, here around my nose just because I do get really dry there. And then you want to bring it down onto your neck. And then the next thing I use is this L'Oreal Advanced Revitalift. And I use this just because it does have SPF in it, which I like. And if you have nails like me, because I have like fake tips, all I know a lot of people get this too, but like whenever you try and like dip into the jar, it always gets in your nails. But what I do is I stick my nail in there, and I get it on the top of my nail, like rather than, I'm not trying to move you guys off, but um, yeah, so I just take a little bit like that much, and just put it all over. Now, the first one I use a lot, just like as a base, and this one I just use as sunscreen, so. And then, um, I always use a primer during the summer just because it's summer and your face tends to kind of melt off during the day. So, the primer I've been using lately is just using up this That Gal primer, because I mean, I don't really have any other ones, um, so if you could recommend any, that would be great, because this primer doesn't really do it for me. So, I'll just leave that. I take about that much, and just put it all over my face. And you want to focus your primer on your T-zone, because that's where you get oily the most. So yeah, um, then it depends on how red I am that day. If I'm like really red, I will use this concealer. It's by Physicians Formula and it's just a green concealer. Um, I'm actually not that red today, so I'm going to skip that step. And if I want to look really, really dolled up, I'll use my Porefessional. But since I'm just... I want to hang out with some friends. I really don't need it. But, I guess I'll just, oh, I got it. I'm back. <laughs> I'll just put it on anyway, just because, you know, for the sake of the video. Ugh. So I take about that much and just apply it to where I have my pores, so that's basically on my cheeks. I'm sorry if I'm looking down, I'm just looking into the mirror, because my mirror is like all the way back there, so. left on my finger, I just take it down my nose and onto my chin, just so that I don't get, like, really oily. And then, 
I use a lot of different foundations just for different things. Um, if my face is really, really bad that day, I'll take my Revlon Color Stay, and this is in 150 Buff. But since my skin is actually being pretty good today, I'm going to use my Hello Flawless Oxygen Oil. Now the thing about this is it is really, really sheer. Like, it doesn't really give you any coverage, it just gives you color. So I like to use my Sheer Cover Concealer Duo. And I take the lightest color, so this one. And I just put it anywhere that I have scarring because I did have really bad acne when I was little, so I did get, well not little, like maybe 14, 15, so. I just put the concealer where I need it. Once I'm done with, so I take about that much, maybe about a pump, and I start on my forehead just because I don't need a lot there, and then I take it onto my cheeks and underneath my eyes. onto my nose just because it gets really really oily and it like looks really cakey no matter what I do so I just kind of melt that into the skin I don't like to rub it just because I did put concealer on first and it's so weird does anyone else have this where like on your actual nose it'll be really dry but on the outside of it it's really like I mean here it's really oily but on the outside it's like really dry I don't know a lot of my family has it I don't know why and then um I don't always use this as a brightener sometimes I do need it for my under eye circle just because I don't get a lot of sleep but I'll take my um put the cap back on for this take my Maybelline cover stick and this is in ivory I put it underneath my eyes and I like to use it not only as a concealer but as like a brightener because it is lighter than my skin so just kind of melt that in And then, um, I've never used this before, but I ran out of my Urban Decay All Nighter, so I'm using the e.l.f. Mist and Spray. I've never tried this before, so if you guys have, tell me how you like it, but, yeah, so I'm just gonna spray that on my face. Now, a lot of people say that they don't like the smell of it, but mine doesn't really have a smell, so... Maybe they just got like a bad batch or something. Oh no. I really do like the way that it makes my skin look though. It makes it look really dewy, which I like, so. Um, then it kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day, if I want to use a bronzer or not. A lot of the time I'll just take my bare mineral warmth and I'll just put that all over my face with the full flawless face brush so I'm gonna do that I just like swirl it until like you think it's warm and you just tap it and just buff it in your face And that 
kind of acts as like an overall bronzer, so. Yeah, that's basically what I do for my face. I don't do anything special. Um, I used to use the NYC powder, but it gave me a really matte finish, which I don't really like. But if you like matte finishes, that's definitely good. Um, I just like the more dewy finish. I don't know. And a lot of people use blusher, but I don't like using blusher just because I do have a natural blush. Um, you probably can't see it on here, but... A lot of the times I do have a natural blush, so I guess I'm blessed like that. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.